that's it. Uh, I'm quitting collecting and becoming a full-time reseller. That's not true. All right, I just woke up like five minutes ago, so prepare for a much more relaxed, chill setting type video, not anything flashy, but just some stuff that I think is very important and almost crucial for me to talk about within the retro collecting world, especially being someone who, again, has been in the scene collecting for like 10 years, which I know not many people do, so I feel like we have a lot to say about it. But I've noticed um, a lot of videos in my timeline why I stopped collecting retro video games. and. I'm not even necessarily saying I was so much interested in what the actual person is saying that did that because to each their own. I've always lived life that way. Politics, religion, anything to each their own. So I kind of clicked on these videos, kind of heard some of them out, but what I really wanted to see is what like the comments were saying, right? Because these are people in the community. Yes, there's figureheads, people on YouTube, but there's people in the community. And what I noticed is a lot of division over the way people collect or people getting mad that certain people collect or getting mad that certain people flip or getting mad that people are doing this or doing that. And I just... I don't get it. I, I, I really don't get that because I see people in there with valid points, not saying your points aren't valid. Everybody for why they don't collect anymore or why they're gonna keep collecting are all valid points, but I don't understand how you can be upset at this person for not collecting and this person for still collecting anymore or vice versa, whatever it may be. You know, I've noticed a lot of the reasoning see people saying, you know, there's stuff like graded games which have changed the market. Yes, uh, uh, there was the video that shocked people or whatnot. Again, I didn't really get to that type of stuff, but I get how certain certain things can affect certain things in the market and might discourage you depending on what type of collector you are. But for us, we've always made sure that the fun and the hunt is always number one because the games and prices are always gonna come up, come and go. Some, even if the prices were cheap, even back a decade ago, there'd be days where we go to the swap meet and completely strike out and find nothing. I'm not saying that the market changing and more people collecting doesn't affect that. I'm just saying that always for us, it was always about the fun. And I know that isn't an option for everybody. I know everybody can't just go out and game hunt with friends and make it fun. Some people don't have friends at all, maybe even, or some people don't even have friends who give two craps about video games and don't want to collect video games. And I understand why for them, they're like, yeah, this has gotten boring. It's not fun for me to go out there, strike out or find a game that's really expensive. I also understand maybe you live in a state where it's snowy and it's just hard to get out there and it really lost its pizzazz. And the only way you can really find stuff is by going to uh, online places, which might not be as fun for you. And that kind of sucks. But I think it's so important for everybody to respect the way people collect and the way people do it. Some people don't like what we collect. Some people are like, hey, you guys collect more knickknacks and weird oddities and weird items than you do video games now. And I've also noticed, I should probably even mention this, speaking of division, you guys have been really awesome in our comments. I've seen it, but I've kind of seen a few people here and there in other comments. A lot of people are talking about Whatnot right now, the app Whatnot, a, a flipping buy sell app. It's like an online auction thing and yes, they reached out to us. We talked about that in the first video we talked about them. Yes, they reached out to us for a sponsorship. And we were like, absolutely, we're using this app. We love this app. This isn't some like mind blowing thing where we're like, hey, we're gonna sell you guys a product on how to manicure your toes that nobody cares about. No, if I could show you guys the amount of times we've turned down uh, Raid Shadow Legends. I'm not gonna name exact names. I shouldn't be naming exact names because I have friends uh, in the community who do promote some items, but things that I know that you guys don't care about. We turn this stuff down. Why? Because we have full-time jobs and that is not our job. We are not full-time YouTubers. We are not full-time resellers by any means. And the reason we like Whatnot so much is that we have been doing this for so long. It is getting very hard to justify spending Honestly, guys, thousands of dollars a month on video games and knickknacks and stuff and putting them in bins. If you're an actual, uh, the people who get mad or not mad at us, there's only been a couple people. Uh, the people who get upset at us are the diehard collectors, right? Who are like, you need to collect and I can't believe you, you're selling, selling out. We would use the app. Remember when eBay came on guys and, and OfferUp and Mercari and all these apps, people are talking about them regardless of their, uh, it's a sponsorship or not. People are talking about them. People are talking about ways they can collect. Hey, I can buy this, use the rest of the money for eBay. Guys, we were never utilizing that. In my opinion, again, I respect the way you might collect or not, but in my opinion, we were doing ourselves a big disservice to buy these bundles of things and put them in bins and put them in totes 
and they sit there in a warehouse, in a shed, doing nothing. The stuff that's on display, of course, we love that. We like the stuff that's on display. We're huge about display. In fact, I am buying an Xbox One kiosk from Toys R Us to go here next week, and I'm gonna have to move this over there. I have a production wall going on, a lot of posters, really cool 90s display going on around here uh, that I'm really proud of. Again, so with, I know, whatnot in particular, it, it doesn't really matter which one it is, but we are very blessed and very fortunate that they reached out to us. I mean, for us, not being full-time resellers, we don't have time to have inventory for eBay and mark things as sold and put things aside to hold and maybe this bin will be, we don't have time for that. We have full-time jobs. I work 50 hours a week always at my regular job, which is as a planner, an important job. I have things to do with whatnot. We get to go in their community with the community and have fun, hold up an item. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Some people pay a lot for stuff. I see people get mad at, oh, someone bid a lot on that. That's dumb. They're only doing it because you're a YouTuber. I don't know. We also took losses last night on some things. Gabo went and bought a Switch OLED for the community and lost money on it because our community didn't care as much. So getting back to the original topic, is it retro collecting, if it has gone stale, for you, which I feel like I see a lot of comments of people saying it has gotten stale for them. I get it. And there's not always ways to re-spark that. I know for us, again, the friendship is the way to re-spark it. Add in challenges for yourself. Give yourself new challenges, even if you are alone. You know, you've maybe been collecting for the same thing for so long, doing it the same way. Try mixing it up. All right, I'm gonna buy Sega Genesis only, but I'm only gonna buy merch from Sega Genesis, or not only, but I'm gonna also add merch from Sega into my stuff. I'm gonna add brochures, manuals. I'm gonna do, try to find sealed stuff for it. Ooh, that's the big elusive thing right now. It's hard to find sealed, they're worth a lot, but put it out there. Have fun with it, try different things, things you would normally never buy. Guys, I recently just started buying like Nintendo radios from, from, from back in the day that nobody collects. Why? Because I think it's fun to mix things up. If you can mix it up, cool. If you can't, I understand that. I think the big reason I wanted to hop on here, definitely the reason I wanted to hop on here, is to tell you guys that when you're fighting against your own people, Right? This happens in a lot of things. It happens in politics. It happens in religion. People are, have the same ideas. We're collectors. We love video games. Some people do it in different ways. Some people have to find different avenues. Some YouTubers won't be honest with you. And you're, some of your friends might, but might not be honest with you. You know, we're diehard pure collectors. We never flip, never trade. I don't, you don't know if that's necessarily true. Sometimes YouTubers feel like they have to cater to their audience to make them feel okay with things, to make them feel safe in that community. But in the reality, we like to be honest with you guys and we want the community to be honest with each other. We also want everyone to know that it's okay okay to collect different. Uh, it's it, it, it shouldn't be a fight if you collect and it's still fun to you and it shouldn't be a fight if you don't collect and you think it's dumb now. It's, it's not a battle worth fighting. Human lives, the person under the skin is much more important the way someone collects a physical item. And again, I think this is a big thing to note too. These are just physical items at the end of the day. It's plastic, it's paper, it's cardboard at the end of the day. If it really can get you upset or you can lose a friendship or even hate a YouTuber because they're talking about certain things, I've seen others talk about it. I can't believe you're gonna start talking about this thing now. Guys, if you don't like what someone does, don't watch what someone does. That's it. I would say hit the dislike bar, but that's gone now, which I didn't like. I mentioned that in a recent video. I don't, I don't like that. I think it's a good way to gauge things uh, in the community. But I, I think you guys, we do have a really good audience. I've noticed when it comes to collecting and the way people collect and, and these videos of people who stopped collecting, I've seen people in the comments big, these videos are so stupid. Why would you do a video saying you stopped retro collecting? You're just looking for views. Maybe people are, I don't know. But what I do, the old fashioned way, when I don't have something nice to say, I just don't say it, I back away. Unless, unless it's an important situation in life. But when it comes to this stuff, guys, this is just, this is our fun, this is our community. And again, if you really hold yourself as a true collector of something, do your best, or not as a collector, but if you really hold yourself as like a person who holds this stuff in high regard, video games, collecting, uh, I think it's very important to make sure that you are doing your best to hold that community get together. You know, when you care about something, again, going back to politics and religion, if you see your group or your ideology going south in a way where you're like, oh, that's, that's, they shouldn't be doing that, speak up. 
to your community in a nice way, in a respectful way. Like I just think that, that we as a community, um, when it comes to this stuff, can always do better at respecting each other's uh, values when it comes to collecting. I just think it's super important to keep, to, keep, to keep everyone together, keep everyone having fun. So I don't know if this video even made sense. In the end, my whole goal was to kind of address the retro collecting, why I quit retro collecting videos. So I hope I did that. I probably rambled for most of the time, but either way, we'll see you guys in the next video and we will be back at the swap meets. And again, yes, we are gonna be still working with whatnot, like I said. So there will be videos about whatnot all the time. And I hate to break it to you guys, uh, when, when, when we're not sponsored anymore, um, I hate to break it to you. Uh, we're still gonna talk about it because we use it every day. Just like resellers in all their videos every day to this day say, hey, I can use eBay to make this. I can use this to do this. Helps us uh, keep the circle of collecting going. All right, that's it. I hope any of this made sense. I'm gonna watch it back and probably be like, what were you even saying, dude? Whatever.